Hello, my name is Farhan and I am the CEO and startup founder of Products to You. Of course, there's always a story behind, you know, uh, how a startup is founded. Lah. Uh, I was actually in Cat Technologies. So, Cat Technologies is a distribution uh, company. So, they've been in the distribution space, uh, distributing prepaid cards for about 20 years. Uh, so, after 20 years, they have strengthened their relationship and network with about 10,000 retailers. Lah. So, these retailers are the ones that, you know, we go and service under Cat Technologies to actually buy uh, from them and then you know we basically service our principal uh, to help push sales for, for our principals so because of all this 10,000 network we thought to ourselves like you know can't we do more for these guys we thought okay why don't we try out with a simple application the application is a very basic okay you can settle your bills and get commission you can uh, sell top up and get commission but it's all done virtually so like our retailers now don't need to think about physical order of stocks so they don't need to you know, pening pening, you know, think about how long am I going to get these stocks and how fast am I going to have to clear these stocks. Now they just use the app, sell virtually, and then they can get commission instantly. And the commission is, you know, about the same anyway. So it makes sense. It makes perfect sense for us to go out there, attack this 10,000 ready network of retailers that we already have. So that's what we did. First few months, kita nampak 200 dealers. Uh, retailers dapakai first month was 200,000 uh, worth of sales and then by the end of the first year we were already getting about 1,000 users uh, approaching about close to 1 million sales and today Alhamdulillah we have reached 1.5 million with about 1,700 1, uh, users and this is nationwide so uh, leveraging on whatever resource we get we get from Cat Technologies and, and, and the network um, I say would have been uh, is partly the, the success that, that we see today and so um, what else can we do for them right we came up with a mission and vision uh, rec recognizing these opportunities out there that we want to help empower all these businesses to actually maximize their business value because they are already servicing their current end customers and on top of that like how can we bring more goods and services how can we push the adoption rate of mobile shopping even higher uh, so that like the near nearby neighboring communities can also get all these goods and services from them. Why we do this is because we realize that you know despite the existing marketplace platform like Shopee and Lazada, the adoption rate of people of Malaysia uh, specifically in doing online commerce uh, using mobile is still very very low. It's still at twenty percent uh, compared to the likes of Indonesia. Uh, so we are lagging behind in terms of catching up uh, with adoption rate for people to actually use their mobile phones to purchase uh, stuff, right? So we thought to ourselves, okay, that's that's one opportunity. And the other opportunity is that, you know, uh, if you go to these kampung-kampung areas, uh, there's lack of goods and services that's actually available to them. You know, they don't have as much variety uh, and range of products and services uh, like we do here in KL, right? How do we bring all these products and services to them, you know, easily? And, and knowing all these problems uh, and opportunities, we created this marketplace that essentially can connect all these products and services that they previously wouldn't think of selling and now they could sell uh, just by, you know, using, using the app um, because we connect directly to suppliers and we bring the suppliers product on the platform so that now all the machis, uh, all the mums and pops can easily access the products and services to then sell uh, onto their nearby community lah. Uh, so they, they buy at deep discounts because it's directly from the source or they can sell on the consignment on dropship to their, to their market so we give them like um, a lot of support like marketing support uh, posters, buntings, uh, banners so that their customers also know what is being sold in their store like if previously they only had the basic beras minyak and now they can sell you know more adabi more nestle stuff tiba tiba the perfume uh, all they have to do is just like do a transaction on the app and send it directly to the customer uh, acceptance has been tremendous actually like we've also been very surprised lah um, obviously, bill players, prepaid players out there, there's a lot, right? There's EP, there's OTA, there's SRS. But what differentiates us is the physical marketplace punya feature. So, we are unique in a way that we combine both uh, this physical marketplace and this uh, B2B retail utilities prepaid payment space. So, EP, SRS doesn't do physical marketplace punya uh, pushing of products. We bring on board uh, products like Adabi, 
perfume, uh, beauty products, uh, health products and give margins as high as 30-35%. So for these retail players, they are like, eh, why can't I use you know this app rather than use all the existing apps in, in the market? Because not only do they give margins and commissions as high as the other players, but they also give me margins as high as 35%. And this is not just available to all the mums and pops, but also like individual agents who wish to earn an income. So we are in a way aggregating all products together in a marketplace platform. So you can be an agent to sell all these kind of products just by coming on products, products to you. Knowing everything I know now, I would have done everything differently. Lah. I could have saved, you know, like one year worth of like... Uh, amateur mistakes so like you know in, when it comes to corporate stuff uh, uh, fundraising you know how do i go about it like doing things more efficiently in terms of you know staff morale retention how do i go about like uh, hitting the right spots to motivate there's a lot of tricks and tools that you can actually use to 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 do all this and so now i'm like one and a half years in my business journey I have learned a lot. It's a steep learning curve. Obviously, I would do all these things differently and I think I'd be able to cut back on like five months worth of mistakes. It all boils down to belief, perseverance, conviction in your idea. And if you have all these three, you would do everything it takes. And you would then learn about like everything that is critical. And one thing then that is critical, which is a step down, is networking. If you are building your startup and people don't know, that's the first death of your startup. Because as a startup founder and CEO, your job is to put your you know startup out there. You gotta not just talk to users, but talk to you know people. To trash out your ideas. As you trash it out, you know you realize that you start solving problems a lot, a lot faster, a lot easier. Uh, because it's it's not a one man job. It's actually like a community job and uh, a lot of. Uh, problems as you know like, is solved a lot faster collectively rather than individually um, and a lot of the cliches like building the right team having the right founder structure the most important thing is uh, in this tech space of startup world that you know always tries to find tech talent you got to be very mindful about the tech talent that that, that, that you hire uh, because your product is as good as the people that you have if you're a tech product it's, it's as good as the tech, tech people that you have um, so I mean this, These are some of the learnings And I think I, I have a long way to go But I think I believe in You know like uh, Usaha uh, Usaha, doa, tawakal Yeah so I think if this If you have these three things You will figure it out